Right oh, no, so that should be not better now. Just uh, <coughs> departed, but I've got no idea how long ago they departed. Streaming Marco uh, Joe's feed from First Responders Media. Good to run. Uh... Alright, just let me break down the equipment and we'll take off. Alrighty. I'll just double check that. one again that canvas should be right why is that being cropped Should be all uh, all good and correct now. <coughs> Fix it all up. Yes, Cookie, the band that has all the names. I still gotta catch up to him and put more names on there. If you are a supporter of the channel and you want your name. On there, uh, sent the page a message, oh, and I'll go up to him again when we're off stream. And make sure your name is on that van. On your regular viewers, check my roof. Why?
Oh, the radio? I got it. I grabbed the radio. I'm gonna put the radio up there. Yeah. <laughs> Some joint from uh, Champlain. Sign Passengers of the Black Bean. So, right now we're right next to the convoy once again. Good morning, Mama Owens. You want farm here, Pam Davis? Um. I'm not sure what they were, uh, what he's talking about there because I've missed the start of whatever that was. Um, I'm assuming it's something to do with. Uh, Uh, want that going straight through your ears? Just 
busy uh, trying to concentrate on what's happening with uh, Taco Joe there. I'm not sure what they're uh, doing. Something. Eight. Something about signing for for something. Uh, oh, people are here. Exit eight right now. Uh, and fat boy's name. It's, uh, I'm not sure. Not sure what they're uh I'm just going through back through the messages to see if I can find out what it was. Uh, that he was uh, talking about something about send a message. Uh, Fat boy on it. Might have something to do with uh, donations being blocked, maybe. Um, I'm still trying to work out what it was. Hopefully, I'll uh, give me give the message out again of what needs or what's happening. Not sure what's uh, what's going on. So I just have to hang in and see what happens. I'll just uh, change that lighting around a bit. Be a bit better. I'll kill that light in the background, eh? Don't want that uh, that on. Should be 
be a bit better. Hopefully. Oh, a bit bright. Drop that down a little bit. That looks a bit better. Not so overpowering. Here we go. Come on, Jay. Ah, never went back, and that's the end of the good on you, Targo Joe. Congratulations to you, mate. I think this is uh, I'm glad I finally worked this out uh, what I was doing wrong with this thing. Watched a few more videos on how to get me uh, my ugly mug on the on the screen properly. It was borderless. I still had a lot more working work to do to get it all right, but I'm getting there, and that's the main thing. <laughs> yeah. Make sure you do those things. It's rolling along just nicely. And apparently, this is their longest uh, their longest day on the road today. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, I can honestly say I'm about the same. Sit there uh, watching this. Oh, look, Jaco. Oh, Jaco, they're uh, Australian made, Australian company. Quite a big company uh, here in Australia, Jaco. Hello, Teresa Campbell. How are you doing today? Make a lot of caravans. Well, RVs, as uh, they're called in uh, in the states. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, I think that's got to be up here somewhere, doesn't it? Probably need people to come in to tell me what's going on with me yeah, uh, audio. Yeah, thanks for the uh, thumbs up there. I don't know who it was because uh, it's telling me I've only got one uh, one person watching. So and that one one person watching, that'd be me. I'm monitoring the stream going out or what uh, you would be uh, uh, seeing. And welcome, welcome everybody. If this is your first time with First Responders Media, let me welcome you to the channel. My name is Joe. Right now, Taco Joe. The people's Keep streaming. More they people need to see. Yeah, that's that's true. Tr that's true, JT. And that's contract. why I'm doing this. And uh, uh, Joe knows that from First Responders Media. Uh, look, Joe, uh, JT, head over to uh, First Responders Media. Give him a thumbs up and a like, mate. Oh, I'll, uh, thumbs up and a uh, subscribe and tell him that uh, I sent you over. Uh, yeah, a lovely bloke. I've been following Taco Joe for uh, a long time. He's allowed me to to restream this for for that exact reason because we're all worried about what what happened down in uh, Canada. Where they were taken down the streams and all that, being blocked on YouTube. So, the more people that are uh, streaming it, the better. You just need to speak with Taco Joe, and uh, he'd be more than happy to to give the authorization to to share it. You know, all he asks is that you you know give him his credit and. A lot of people have been removing his uh, watermark, which I refuse to do. That watermark uh, is there for a reason. A good bloke. Love him. And his wife, Irene, she's a lovely lady. I get along for really, really good in the uh, first responders media family. I'm not sure where they're positioned on the road at the moment, how long they've been going, I've got no idea. Just trying to uh, later on today finding uh, somebody messaged the page that there was somebody in the convoy, also from Bakersfield, California.
got drones up here. There's been a lots of drones. I did buy a drone. I've been so busy that I haven't had a chance to learn how to fly it or put it together. Oh, come on, Taco! I'm going to find out what kind of drone and I could probably tell him what he's got to do. That's probably the most people I've seen. A bit concerned that he said that he's got to put it together. That's uh, it's a little bit different. Shouldn't have to put a drone together. <laughs> a road trip tradition, Ozark Land Fudge Factory, exit 29. Sort of listening into what Taco uh, Joe's got to got to tell me. I'm trying to multitask here. It's not easy being a uh, a mere male. Uh, we're not known for our. Uh, Multitasking skills, apparently. That's more of a uh, uh, a female uh, skill. That one. Those men are not uh, just not known for it. For some reason. I try to multitask, I just... Yeah. I find it a bit hard sometimes. We gotta stop and get some fudge? I can do, I can do, I can sometimes do it. Yeah, but uh, something like this is a bit beyond me. I like, I'm trying to learn something that I've never the, done before. The convoy will leave us too far behind. Uh, still catching up to the convoy right now. But... You know, because this is all totally new to me, what I'm doing here. I'm only doing this for this uh, this convoy. I've never even had it set up to do this sort of stuff. And I said this is a, an absolute first for me. Just wake up the uh, more the first morning of the convoy, and I thought, hang on. My computer can run all that. I got all the stuff that I do what I need to to do it. Just had to uh, work out how to actually do it. That was the uh, the fun part was uh, doing that. It was a little bit different. You know, I downloaded the software. And thought, right now, what do I do? I stumbled my way through. Yes. Oh, now that we have everybody here. Yep. We are the convoy is going through Illinois. There was statement said yesterday that Illinois wanted no part of the convoy. Those were false statements. Yeah. <laughs> and where did those uh, statements come from? Convoy. So Oreo. The convoy will be going through Illinois. Yeah, a bit of a troublemaker, this bloke. This Oreo Express. I, I I don't watch. I won't follow him. I changed the oil. Oh yeah. Eleven thousand. So they put five thousand. So by over a thousand something miles. You left to do another. All change on the way back, uh, Taco. You know, you'll be clocking up those kilometers, mate. Plus, the times I had to drive to a hotel and come back, some nights I had to drive like 30 miles to get a hotel because they decided to camp out, spend the night in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> I haven't seen this camp for a long, long time. Uh, Kenny Trent, thank you so much for that super chat. You are doing a fine job for your country, Joe Keith. Of the good work, my friend. God bless. Well, God bless you too, and thank you so much for your support. And everybody that has been supporting the stream, thank you, thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. Those funds are going straight to pay for fuel, hotel stays, food, and maintenance to the vehicle once we get back home and before we take off back home. This vehicle will be needing to maintenance. So they're going to be bad weather when they yeah. come towards the uh, east coast. I know there was that big. Uh, 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 
storm uh, or weather event happening over there uh, on that on the east coast uh, I thought that was uh, when happening now they're still a fair way away yet still six days off I think or something like that aren't they You know, they're due in on the 6th or something, aren't they? Five days away, four days away? Uh, no, they're not planning to be there for the State of the Union. The State of the Union is March the 1st. This convoy will not arrive to, to D.C. until December 5th. December 5th. Let me go. Yeah. Oh, my Lord, where, where's my brain at? Oh, well, you, you're on the 28th here in, in, in America March at the moment, okay. December. I'm still living in December. Cookie. <laughs> What's Cookie doing now? Oh, I missed it. Go yeah, back so and have a look. Let's have what Cookie said. Adelanto to Joplin's 1400 miles? How much? Jeez. Send on mine. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'll be giving it to you. Oh, Jesus. Uh. My wife does not. Well, the other car convoys was cancelled. What, like, what other car convoys? Like, you know, give, 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 give facts. He yeah, said they're going through uh, about the only way they could barricade it. Russians took over. Uh, we didn't use the hate the president. Yeah, see, so, like somebody's saying they cancelled a uh, one of the car convoys. Yeah, well, hang on. Which one? Which car convoy? Why, why just say something like that without actually saying what one? Yeah, you know, no one's got a chance of uh, then uh, looking up to find out the uh, whether the story is true or not. This is where the, the fake media comes into it. There, people just say something, and all of a sudden, other people take it up and run with it. <laughs> yeah. And, and that's that's what I hate. If, you, if you're going to make a statement, you've got to make sure that you give me all those facts. Right now we are passing the convoy to the right here. This is the trucks in the convoy. We just passed all the vehicles in the convoy. Yeah. Here's everybody's favorite pink truck coming right up to the right. 47 miles. Here comes the pink baby. To get to Springfield. There she is. Have a look at that beautiful lad. In support of uh, breast cancer awareness. Make sure you uh, give and donate uh, to breast cancer awareness. It's a, it's a really bad disease, that one. Springfield, where there's an Amish community. Do not know if it was oh. 13, though, going over to Kansas. 
or the 44, I can't remember that. <coughs> Lou Ann, thank you so much for stopping. See you later on. It's crazy how many people have come out on every or pass through every state to support the convoy. Somebody would ask me if I thought there would be that many people coming out. I would have said no. I'm working something up to see what I can stream on the way home a couple of hours a night. Because even the I-70 or was it the I-80, it looks like this too. All the interstates just look nothing else to see. Look at this flag here. Wow. Huge.
Google Maps, other overpasses are red? Wow. now. So you have this, I can't remember what they call him here in Missouri. It's State Trooper, Higher Patrol. The Sheriff. The sheriff's cleaning the pack now. Uh, this is... Lawrence County Sheriff. Four vehicles. Five. Check this out, guys. Uh, here at First Responders Media, we support our first responders 150%. And check this one out right out here. He even added an American flag to his unit today. Isn't that seen right here to the right side? Look at that. Lawrence County. Five units leading the way. Not one unit, but five. drive I drive a 2016 Nissan Versa note small little vehicle for this big guy but it's awesome also known as the black bean as what all of the regular viewers call it my wife nicknamed the vehicle which is a dirty bean right now because I got get a car to wash soon That was pretty cool to see the support of a law the law enforcement for those of that are new to the channel normally back in bakersfield i do chase the police scanners around show up to criminal activity calls structure fires traffic collisions we cover it all and we support our local law enforcement and all law enforcement firemen emts we are media big big emphasis on the media part
Thank you so much for the super chats. Watching from New Mexico. Awesome. All right, back again. All right, have to have a smoke. I support DC too. We support our law enforcement. Of course, everybody has bad apples and everything. We do not support bad apples in anywhere, whether it be any agency. But we do support our law enforcement. Go ahead, sir. Got permission. Break check, break check, break on one nine. The black bean just got a major break check. <laughs> yeah. sure, the transmission is putting the new transmission is getting put to the test on this trip. We miss you in Bakersfield, no one out last night. We apologize. I will be back in Bakersfield uh, chasing calls for you guys as soon as this is over. Good morning, Steve. How are you, mate? Good to see you. I'm getting more frustrated watching these guys because they're making so many mistakes. It's getting frustrating. Well, what, do you, what do you mean by that, Steve? Uh, what, what mistakes, mate? You mean the way uh, the route that they're taking, or...? I assume that's uh Thank you so much for that resub. What you mean? DJ Yeah, yeah, uh Taco Joe uh, only just got this CB radio uh, whole and solely for this uh, this trip. Uh, he's not a uh, he's not a truck driver, never has been, so it's all new to him. But using a uh, a CB radio, he, uh, he's not actually talking on that uh, CB radio. He. Uh, just giving everyone a bit of a laugh. Yeah, yeah, no. Uh, uh, my understanding, Steve, was there were accidents. Uh, uh, <laughs> That caused a, a, a bit of the problem, problem there because they're being led by the uh, state troopers. They led the convoy uh, into uh, big cabin. Oh my! Oh, I heard it. I'm pretty sure you all. Yeah, yeah. When it gets uh, bigger towns, yeah, I know. Uh, but they're being led by the uh, state troopers. Uh, they uh, are basically just following what the state troopers are uh, uh, are taking them, and that's why the route's sort of changing at the last minute all the time. 
Yeah. Before that was Texas. And there's one of your road trains just going past it then, FedEx. So they're, they're pretty much governed by what the uh, state troopers are doing because they're blocking the roads off for them to to bring them through. Uh, and all our express, he got lost a few times yesterday. He, he was going to. He was forever uh, trying to find his way back to the uh, to where the convoy was. He'd take a turn off to try and get some uh, shots from an overpass and then be lost. This might be a good spot here. Yeah, yeah, but that, that's what I mean, Steve. It's it, it's come down to uh, the state troopers. They're uh, changing the routes on them uh, compared to what was planned and that's why they uh, ended up on that turnpike yesterday uh, they were taken that way and that was a bit of a drama because they had all these uh, tolls that they then had to go through and uh, well, old Taco Joe, even he was like, that's why he said he just stayed in in that uh, convoy uh, line instead of trying to get in front to get uh, any shots of the convoy coming towards him because it just kept changing. They haven't said what's the plans in DC. They're, I do know that they're not going into DC. Uh, that's right, they're staying on the but beltway. What's going to happen once they get near DC? I don't know. Only time will tell, so we'll see. It's pretty much uh, they, they do it uh, on the on the fly, I think, because they really don't know how many trucks they're going to have or or, or anything like that. Uh, There's a White Castle off the 40. So once you get near St. Louis, for you White Castle fans. Still there. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I get what you're saying, Steve. I, I, I understand that. Yes, somebody like you or I, uh, that uh, we're, we're running a load, we would check the map to make sure we know what we're doing and where we're going uh, before we uh, leave. Uh, the problem they've got is the state troopers are changing it at the last minute um, so even studying the map before you left made no difference because it just got changed uh, as, as they're going along uh, I, I fully understand where you're coming from uh, coming into a rest stop what's uh, oh, he's going to get a convoy a shot of the convoy coming through to us uh, so that that's 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 my understanding uh, uh, of of what happened yesterday, uh, and then they also had some. Uh, there must have been some accidents near the uh, at the exit or something. Uh, I can't confirm that. I didn't get uh, uh, the full uh, information on all that, but there were reports. When they were waiting at uh, Big Cabin for them, uh, there'd have been uh, accidents, and that's what caused a bit of a hold up. Yeah. Like, I'm not, I'm not uh, uh, agreeing with how it's uh, been, been run. Uh, because really the uh, organisers should be sitting down with the state troopers and saying no this is the route we're taking this is what's mapped out and that's what we're doing we're not changing it at the last minute to suit use because we've got trucks that are you know all spaced out unless those 
uh, CB communications go all the way down the line because this th this is uh, quite a long uh, convoy and your CB radio transmission won't make it all the way to the last person you know unless the other drivers are, are, are on forwarding that message back down the line you know as you can see in some of these shots there's a fair gap between uh, uh, between trucks so quite easy uh, for them to miss the uh, the call and where they're supposed to get off I just feel that the uh, the organisers and the state troopers uh, uh, got a lot to answer for in the uh, the running of the the convoy, you know, to make sure it ran smoothly and and, and to plan, you know, you, know, you have a plan for a reason, and that no, reason is to everybody knows what's going on. Like every morning they have their uh, drivers meeting to to discuss the route and where they're going uh, and then to get a state trooper to change it on them like yeah it's not real good the organizers need to be more uh, more firm I suppose they, they, at the same time with they they don't want to cause any dramas or conflict with the straight state troopers and then you know the state troopers get their backs up and all of a sudden they're uh, pulling all these trucks into the way stops and uh, going over their trucks, their log books and everything else. You know, they're, they're, they're probably trying to play it smart too. We'll just do what the state troopers want us to do. Uh, as I said, I don't know. I'm only surmising uh, what could be happening. Yeah, Joe's sort of been uh, uh, alluding to that, that it's that hard to, to keep up, everything just changes and they're making it hard for any coverage to uh, buy these uh, uh, streamers because, uh, unless they've got the CB radio to, to listen into what, what's being said but as I said, if they're at the back of the line uh, they're not going to get that uh, transmission. Yeah, that, that's right. It, it, it to forward the message through the CB road. That, that's if the the other drivers are then uh, uh, retransmitting that message, Steve. That's what I'm saying. Uh, it, it comes down to to my uh, that. The, the other ones are uh, just for the measure so yeah yeah that, that's right that's right but yeah you've got to have somebody that's going to be uh, that's going to be doing it I think this is the this could be the problem Steve I don't think it's uh, being relayed uh, back down the line uh, I'm not saying it's not uh, just yeah I, I, w I would have hoped that it was being rebroadcast. Uh, you, you almost need somebody designated uh, uh, as rebroadcasters uh, in the convoy. The problem we're getting is cars are getting in between them and spacing the trucks further and further apart. Yeah, yeah, well, I, I, that was that uh, Oreo, uh, he, he's a bit of a drama uh, drama queen, this uh, this bloke, he's making a, lo a lot of rumours and uh, I was glad he was uh, lost yesterday, he got uh, himself that confused. <laughs> yeah. 
yeah, well, that Oreo, he's a bit of a bit of a problem. Uh, not happy with him. He uh, causing a lot of dramas. That bloke, a real lot of dramas. Yeah, he needs to keep his mouth shut. I think. Stick to facts instead of uh, uh, saying. Anything. I guess they uh, said there was seven thousand trucks. Or 7,000 vehicles or something, I don't know whether it was trucks or just uh, 7,000 in the convoy. And somebody uh, put in a, and it's done the math bag and said there's no way it's 7,000 because the length would be so long. Yeah, well, they, they, they uh, haven't bent the knee to Illinois, they're going through it. Uh, Taco Joe uh, said this morning uh, he mentioned about it, yeah, because it was just fake news. You know, uh, Illinois is not stopping them uh, going through at all. A bit hard to stop uh, a convoy going through your state, mate. They're just uh, liking that song. They'll just run the line, you know, hammer down, and just you'll get one bloke in there. They'll say, nah. I'm not stopping. I'm going, and he'll run the uh, the line, and the rest will just go straight through behind him. Yeah. The only thing I have uh, I haven't seen. Uh, in this uh, convoys like in Canada, mate, I haven't seen all the hugging where everyone's just going around hugging one another. Didn't whether they knew the person or not, you know. Yeah, so there's the state troopers leading the convoy. So this is the this is the problem. If if they uh, change the route, you know, because they're blocking off the roads and they're forcing the trucks to follow them. In my opinion, uh, uh, oh, what was I going to say then, Steve? Um, oh, I can't remember now what I was uh, just going to uh, uh, talk about. Something I was going to say. It was an opinion anyway, but... Uh. I'm sorry for these ones, Bob Tarlin. Oh God, they'll be bloody... That's shaking around. You know, especially the ones that have gone all the way from back from California. Oh, Jesus! You'd be over it by the time you got to. Oh, that's that Sanax that just went past then. He joined in at uh, Choplin. Yeah, you know, they're still they're still picking up trucks and. Uh, can't say I remember seeing that one. Well, it looks like they they've definitely picked up a few more trucks uh, overnight. See, they, they, they're having problems already with spacing out and, and you said a slinky effect if he slows down and then they take off again. Yeah, 
Oh yeah. Yep. Here she comes. Love that one. It's for breast cancer awareness, that one. That's why it was pink. Yeah, he, uh, he's not getting his facts right before he uh, comments, or he, and he's not telling people that, that that's his opinion and he hasn't got proof. So don't take it as gospel at the moment, it's just hearsay. But he's not, he's not saying that to people, and of course the people are then running with it and going on to other streams and then telling other people. One person this morning uh, typed in a message uh, that uh, oh, so, some car convoy was cancelled. Yeah, it doesn't say what car convoy or where from. You know, at least let people know what way you're talking about so they can go and cross-reference and get the information. So... Yeah, just you know, run her at 50, let them all bunch back up. You know, it's all right if you accelerate slowly, you know, then take it up to say 60, let them all bunch back up to 60. Just sort of keep doing it like that if you want to increase your uh, your speed in a convoy. It's, uh, it's not easy to, to, to do, uh, especially when it's so long and so many. Yeah, well, we don't, uh, I don't know so much about whether it's bend the knee, Steve, uh, we, we, we've got to keep looking back to what happened in Canada, where they've, uh, uh, they stole the trucks and uh, impaired them, did you see what's happened to those trucks, they left the windows down, they left the ignitions on so they all, got, uh, all had flat batteries, snow all through their cabs it's you know uh, i assume a lot of these drivers would be following still what's been happening in uh, canada because i know i have uh it was disheartening to see uh how, how the uh the government has treated these drivers uh, and their trucks like uh it's just not right um, and if they've seen that, you know, like, this is their pride and joy, they, they, they're not going to want to lose their truck because of one, it, it, if it was true and correct, uh, and Illinois weren't going to let them go through, do you want to lose uh, a vehicle, uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars? You know, you lose it, you can't work, you can't make the repayments, uh, Look, it's it's. I don't know how how I would would respond to it if I was in the same boat, Steve. I I, don't, I really don't know. Um, it, it, it it's a hard call uh, when that's your livelihood uh, that's on the line. Uh, Yeah, look, I, uh, I, I couldn't say which way I would, uh, I would go, Steve. I really couldn't. It's uh, not something I'd uh, like to be put in that uh, situation. At least we know for a fact now that no, they're going through Illinois, so those drivers now won't have to worry. They'll be able to stay in the convoy and roll on through. But it all it comes down to somebody only got to start a rumor, and it snowballs. You know, 
as we said the other day you know show me the facts that's that's all I ask for it's facts you know I don't, I don't mind you saying whatever you want to say but I want to see the facts I came in Joplin, did it? All right, I'll, I'll look out for that one, Steve. What, what colours the uh, the prime mover? Like with a black drop deck and banner on the trailer. Yeah, well, what what colours the uh, the KW uh, prime mover, Steve? So so I know which one I'm looking for. <coughs> Sorry, mate. Oh. Yeah, just so I know what one I'm looking for. Green Kenworth with full rear fenders and a black drop deck. All right, all right. I'll, I'll be uh, keep my eyes open for that. That'll be. Uh, um, that, did it go past in that footage that uh, Taco Joe just gave us from First Responders Media, Steve? Or is it still further back down the uh, convoy? So as you can see, there's no CB radio traffic uh, uh, back here, and that's what I mean. I don't think it, the, the messages have been passed back down the uh, the line. So these ones back here are not getting those messages that uh, of what's happening uh, up in front. For all of you that were still using the restroom at the rest stop, sorry, got left behind. Oh, I'm on board, Taco Joe. You're not leaving me behind, buddy. I'm here for the long haul. This is the longest uh, day of the trip today, isn't it, uh, Steve? Not sure where they're uh, where they're supposed to be parking up tonight. That's all I heard. Uh, another Jayco, an Aussie brand. Designed and built here in Australia, and then shipped over to to the states. Made here in uh, in Victoria, actually. Jayco. Over in uh, a suburb called Brayside. Very big uh, uh, factory. It's huge. A lot of first responders have been showing support along the way. The best one I've seen so far was those two fire trucks with that 30 foot flag. With that big flag, oh. yeah, yes, though, that was brilliant. My image doesn't take up too much of the of the screen, does it there? Steve, I need it smaller or bigger or, or what I don't want to take up too much of the screen that's all and you reckon I should move it somewhere else up into the top uh, left corner maybe I'm going to have my eyes open for this green Kenworth I dare you Cookies, but the cookies I eat uh, 
No, he wouldn't be able, he wouldn't be allowed to give them to his girls. <laughs> Cook his eye out, mate. Yeah. Minor for medication. Not for uh, sitting there just eating and eating and eating. Been a right old uh, uh, state if I'd done that. I'd be nine eyes in me seat here. Would be able to work out what was going on in the convoy. I you know, like how I worked out that uh, Sally, he's not. that uh, image of me on the on the screen. Steve, it hasn't got the border and the, and all that around it. I finally worked that out. Sort of done that yesterday. Uh, seen what I was doing wrong and what a simple thing it was too. I couldn't believe what it was that I done wrong. Get off those audibles, Joe. Looks like they've bunched them up here. And slowed it right up to uh, bunch them all back up again. You know what they'd said on that uh, over the CB radio. A bit that slinky effect and all that. Try and bunch them all back up. Oh, okay. So all the Penske driver that should have joined back up at that point. Right. The Behind the white cab over. Yeah, well, now we're catching up, so... Okay, so we should be able to get a good view of him. Uh, as Taco Joe from First Responders Media goes past him. Uh, keep my eyes open for it and... And see. So, uh, so what happened with the Penske driver? Uh, any news on that uh, situation there? Brake check, brake check, brake check. Jesus. God, Joe. You had the shit out of me. Jeez, they've come to a standstill. Please stop here. Yeah, we'll see. Targo Joe needs to be on his uh, CB radio and. And, and, and saying to everyone, brake check, brake check. You know, and it, this is the problem that I'm not hearing any of that traffic happening down the uh, down the line. Uh, and that's a bit of a worry. Uh, you can see why they, they were probably accidents yesterday because, for that simple fact, as soon as there's a uh, situation like that, if those truckies are not uh, notified that all of a sudden we're coming to a complete stop you have this situation that all of a sudden one goes up the arse of the next the left the convoy in Amarillo uh, to go get his truck and now he's back with that big beautiful Peterbilt with the convoy condo. So, yeah that, that that's a beautiful looking uh, truck that Steve that's absolutely beautiful uh, oh, oh. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, what are these blokes up to? Oh, so that state trooper even had the flag uh, on his car. Right, eh? I thought I heard yesterday that uh, today was the uh, uh, the biggest stint, or was that yesterday was the biggest uh, the biggest stint? Because uh, Joe streamed for uh, I think it was 12, 14 hours yesterday. Uh, I was late on the scene. I didn't get up till I don't know 6:30, 7:30 in the morning 
here in Australia, mate, I was pretty knackered out, so I didn't worry about streaming. I didn't realise it was going to go that long yesterday, otherwise I would have uh, jumped on and uh, restarted the stream. Oh, he's, he's, he's opened up a uh, factory over in, uh, in, in America. Ah, because during the lockdowns over here, he got an exemption uh, so the workers could continue working through all the lockdowns uh, to be deemed as essential workers for export. Right? He, 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 he's not very well liked over here, actually, uh, in Australia, in the caravan industry or RV industry. Uh uh, yeah, we'll leave it at that. So, oh, okay. Uh, look, he, he, I know he's a big company, very big company. He owns a uh, professional uh, uh, cycling tour uh, team, uh, which is Australian uh, cycling team. It should be uh, called Jaco Green Edge or something along that line. Green Edge or something. Um, can't think what they're called now. I could easily look it up. Uh, he's still involved in it. So he's not a poor man by any means. Uh, but yeah, well, that, that's that, that. That's good if he's. Uh, Opened a factory there in America and uh, supporting uh, American workers. More to him, like round of applause for him. You know, always good to keep people employed. You know, my sister works for a uh, uh, caravan manufacturer, only a small uh, business. Uh, and the 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 one thing that uh, with him pushing for him to be uh, essential workers, she was able to continue working. You know, through the uh, through all the lockdowns we had, like we were locked down here in Victoria. We were locked down for two hundred and sixty-two days, or, or or something like that. Uh, a bloody long time, anyway. Uh, the 23 hours a day you let her outside for one hour oh, don't lose the stream now Tarko come on bear with him for a bit and we'll see what happens we might get him back well and stuttering a bit come on Tarko I know it's not your fault the signal he's been giving us a beautiful uh, clear stream so, uh, up to this point uh, yep, he's back. Nah, in and out. In and out. Come on, mate. Be get away. They're going through this cutting here. Uh, just be a black spot. Just got to get through it. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's that's right. But oh, I don't know. Oh well. well I don't know uh, who's turning up to these uh, uh, driver meetings in the morning. I, um, I, like I don't know if uh, Taco Joe's turning up to them or. or or what, and even if he is, whether he's actually taking in what's being said to him or, or what, I don't know. You just got to bear with this feed at the moment, uh, people. Uh, we're going through a cutting here and uh, he's sort of dropping out. Uh, if we lose his uh, feed, he'll, uh, he'll come straight back on. There's no dramas there. I'll just have to refresh again. Just got to bear with him. This is a uh, 
a live feed from uh, First Responders Media. Uh, get a chance tonight. Go watch Snacks YouTube channel, and he gives a tour of the inside. Oh, righto. I, 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 yeah, I'll I'll make sure I do watch that, uh, Steve. I love to see in the inside his uh, his cab. The outside of it is absolutely beautiful. You know, beautiful uh, mural down the side of it. It's, you know, and, and that's what you got to look at, Steve. When we go back to that Illinois situation, uh, mate, would you want the... Uh, Brake check. So you be onto that, Joe. You should be now starting to think yourself, right? Hang on. They're going to be stopping up here, or the chance that they're going to be stopping. Have your wits about you, ready to uh, pull her up. Admittedly, he's only in the little little black beam, but this is what we're saying about with the trucks, about pushing that message back down the line. I didn't hear a retransmission come over from another truck to uh, push that message back down through the uh, line. Yeah, he did. He did. Uh, uh, quite, quite a few of them interviewed the uh, the drivers. Uh, And, and that, that was good to see, you know. Uh, it made the, the, the truckers feel loved, wanted, uh, and appreciated with what they were putting on the line. Oh, I'd be owned by the same uh, the same bloke, Steve, Chaco. Well, they wouldn't be allowed to use uh, use that name. That name's registered, uh, I'm trying to think what his name is. But, uh, yeah, no, he's a big, he, he's a big company. Uh, Greg Bryan. Hmm. No, that doesn't ring a bell, Greg Bryan. Uh, I can't think of his name. Uh, it's on the tip of me tongue. It, it'll it'll come to me. It'll come to me uh, uh, when I least expect it. Uh, oh, geez, you got me now. I, I, I'm going to have to uh, Google it. I go. Uh, JK Australia Chairman, Global Greatest Part Owner, Mitchelton Scott. That's the uh, the cycling uh, team. Uh, the owner of the uh, of JK's name is Jerry Ryan. Uh, is JK Australian owned company? Who owns JK America? Here we go. Let's see. Subsidi subsidiary Lloyd and Bertha, Bronner, Middlebury, Indiana. Owner is Thor Industries. Number of employees at 3,200. So there you go. They're not the uh, not the same uh, same. Uh, company yet they use the same logo Jayco an Australian manufacturing success story Jayco Australia has grown into one of the most successful Australian brands creating quality and affordable recreational vehicles for more than 45 years and in this blog we walk down memory lane and reflect how Jayco became an Australian manufacturing success story uh, when found at Jerry Ryan was production manager at Sunwagon Trailers. 
He was sent to the United States to learn about components that Sunwagon were purchasing for their vans from the US caravan manufacturer called Jayco Incorporation. Ah, here we go. Jerry worked closely with the owner of Jayco. So in other, uh, right, so really what, what it is, is it's, it's an American company. It's not an Australian company like we've been led to believe here in Australia. Uh, and and, and uh, Jerry Ryan's just taken on the uh, using the uh, the name Jayco almost as a uh, well you'd say he's a subsidiary really Uh, Greg Bryan, uh, welcome to the uh, to the room. I've been thrown out of every corporate store there. Is for refusing to wear a mask. Oh, the but yeah, yeah, no, no, no. I won't wear the. Uh, I won't wear the mask, mate. No, 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 no. It's uh, no mask. No job coercion. There, yeah, that's exactly right. No, yep. Yeah. yeah. Nah. I'm. Uh, this is where it comes back to what I uh, what I believe. It's freedom of choice. You have the right to make to the, make your decision based on on your assessment of life. You know, they can't force me to have, if I had cancer, they can't force me to have uh, chemotherapy if I don't want it. You know, and, and this is my aim. Where's, what's the difference? It takes 10 years minimum to develop test and vax, if and only if you it. can first isolate the virus. Yeah, well, that, that yeah, we, you know that, I know that. This is just, uh, uh, part of the new world order. People are being conditioned, ready to be uh, ruled. Yeah, that's right. The vaccines. The uh... sorry about that picture quality, uh, people, but uh, it's. Uh, it's not my fault, and it's not first responders media's fault. Uh, obviously, got uh, in an area with uh, bad mobile service, or the towers might be uh, uh, overloaded. Uh, he's streaming at 1080p, so we've just got to wait. I like this purple thing; that's quite nice. That quite nice. Uh, we have had uh, good quality stream coming in from uh, Taco before then. Oh, oh, okay. So you reckon it? Oh, maybe because you're on on your phone, uh, Steve. That might be uh, might be why you are lagging so much. Uh, it doesn't sort of bother me uh, with a lag. You know, uh, I'm still reading what messages are coming through. I just, you know. I just you just got to understand with me I'm going to be jumping backwards and forwards with uh, what we're talking about because of uh, the lagging situation like I'm oh, I think I'm about uh, oh, about 20 seconds uh, restream lag time uh, could even be more maybe I'm not sure I haven't sort of sat there with a stopwatch to to check it
Yeah, well, yeah, but that was a, that, that was quite interesting. So I've learnt something uh, out of that, uh, Steve. Uh, because here in Australia, we're led to believe that it was uh, uh, Jerry Ryan's uh, idea about this Jayco caravans. Yet they're exactly the same logos uh, on them. So to me, the Australian. Uh, uh, Jayco is a subsidiary of the uh, American one. You know, he's just uh, well, franchise, I suppose you could say. He's he's paying for the uh, rights to use that logo and and name here in Australia. You know, and and uh, and he's not telling anybody any different either. You know, he's uh, letting everyone uh, basically believe what's being said. Yeah, doing a bit of buffering again, people. Hang in there. We'll, uh... Yep, right out. He's completely lost the stream, so... I'll find you a, a, another stream and uh, we'll go from there. Uh, give me a chance here and we'll see what about if we go with uh, this and that. Yeah, he is, uh, he is transmitting, so we'll, uh, we'll take his stream on board and see what he's got to tell us for the time being. See what we uh, we get there. Right on. That uh, audio all right there, uh, Steve or Brian, or do I need to adjust anything? Oh, okay, okay, so it's the RV uh, equivalent of Detroit, Michigan, right, eh? All right. Yeah, well, I understand how big that would be then. And here I was uh, all this time that I've been seeing these JKs, right, thinking, oh, uh, from Australia, oh, how great that is. You know, what a dickhead I feel like I am now. You know. See how easy it is to um, to spread uh, misinformation, you know, all because I I assumed that 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 they were the Australian ones because it's the same logo and all that, and we're told here in Australia they're about you know uh, Jayco Australia and and all that. Uh, well, there we have it. Uh, so does he really even export the caravans? You know, makes me wonder whether um, he slipped money under the table to the uh, government to uh, be able to keep his business uh, running and selling uh, uh, or making caravans to sell. You know, of course we weren't allowed to go overseas for two years. A lot of people were buying caravans. Just so they could travel around uh, just Australia for a, uh, on a holiday, you know. Oh, oh, brake check, brake check, brake check, brake check. This is where this slinky effect comes into it. Uh, all you need is a dickhead in the... All you need is a dickhead... Uh, uh, in a car to jump in front of one of these trucks because he wants the next exit uh, and that's what's happening like, look at the distance uh, these two trucks have just got now you know this is what happens 
First responders is back online. I think we'll just uh, hang with snacks for a while and see what he. Uh... Right, thanks for that, Steve. I won't worry about uh, changing. Uh, I should be able to lock this audio so that way I don't accidentally change it. But I can't see where there's a lock on it, so. I'll just leave it the way it is. I can lock those so that way I don't accidentally uh, change them. I should be able to switch that off. Yep, there we go. Turn myself back on. Beautiful, I'm working it. I'm a working it, mate. Be able to close that. Put it back on. I'm a working this out, Steve. I'm a getting there, mate. Yeah, it's very It's. Don't get me started on not needing a uh, endorsement for uh, pulling RVs, mate, because uh, if I've got to have an endorsement to drive a, uh, a semi, why why do people not have to have an uh, endorsement to pull a, uh, an RV? They've got to do exactly the same manoeuvres as what's uh, done in a, in a semi. You know, they should have to learn to be able to uh, tow that truck, uh, tow the... Uh, uh, the trailer, uh, just like a, a semi driver has to, how to back it, you know. But yeah, it's been my argument for um, all my life. I can't see how the governments can uh, justify that one as uh, get a car license, you can pull a caravan or a trailer, not learn how to pa how to load the, the the caravan or the RV. You know, you put all the, uh, some people put all the weight over the the back, or all the weight at the front. They don't even out there load that's inside the the caravan to keep it uh, balanced. Yeah, something I wouldn't mind getting into uh, doing, Steve. That'd be be something I'd enjoy doing. Doing, uh, doing the deliveries of those uh, those vehicles or trailers. Jesus. I bet you that message hasn't been passed down the line. Uh, we've got uh, first responders back online, so I'll uh, go and uh, fire him back up again. Uh, come on, Taco Joe, where are you, mate? Live. There we go. I'm back with uh, on board with Taco. Uh, pitch quality back. Right out. Same as the class, the CDL license, but I believe now even the deliver RV you got to have a class B commercial. I think. That's how my solar system lips the glass. He's electromagnetic gravitational plane. Uh, years ago, great younger diners. 
Pave of people, sphinx, water, erosion. Oh, no, I don't know what all that's about. It's beyond my brain capacity there, Greg. Sorry, mate. I'm just a dummy, mate. It's take me six days to finally work out how to put my uh, the stream of my uh, ugly Green mug on the the feed area. properly. I remember Green County when I used to live out here. And I'm not the not the sharpest knife in the block. Uh, there's no money in it anymore, just like everything else. Yep. 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 Yeah, well, that's right. They uh, bring in these uh, uh, labour hire crowds, and they uh, they're the ones that make the money while the the worker misses out. Instead of uh, the manufacturers hiring the workers uh, direct and paying them the money, you know. Okay, right, mate. mate. These labour hire companies are making an absolute killing. Uh, we got the same problem here in Australia with these labour hire businesses. It's happening around. Oh, geez, this is a good turnout. Hey, have a look at this. Oh, a couple of uh, cranes up there. What are they hanging? A nice big flag, are they? Taco will zoom in on it for us. Maybe. Nah. Yep. Yep. Look at that. Lovely. What a great turnout. Where are they, Steve? Can you tell me uh, where they are? I've seen exit uh, 83, I th uh, 84, there you go, exit 84. C can you tell me uh, whereabouts they are now, please, Steve? Because this is a big turnout. Unreal. I want to have a coffee and a smoke, but I want to see. Uh, Off exit 84. I want to see this because that's just huge. And I'm parked up on the other side of the road to support them as they're coming through it. Ah, oh, they got old school bus. Right now, I'm looking for that green one. The green KW, want it? Keep that camera still, Taco. Green with a black drop deck. I'll be looking for it. I'm going to roll them through nice and slow here for the people. That's good. Oh, Taco, what are you doing to me? Just keep the camera there. And keep moving the camera around. You should have set up his tripod for this. Was it that one? I missed it. I was too busy listening to the conversation going on with the uh, over the CB. The people have jumped in front of the convoy that are not uh, supposed to be there. And that way. 
Okay, well, I can't see when you're doing this. There he goes, snaps. <laughs> Hang it off it. Not over here they weren't, Greg. It was the whole community, mate. Businesses were closed. The only places that were allowed, that were allowed to be open were uh, pretty much uh, chemists and uh, and supermarkets. I think essential items and that was it. Not going very far from here, okay. With another 200 miles. Well, that'll take me uh, uh, a few hours to. The travel that. Oh, she's nice. It's a nice rig, that one. He, uh, especially if they're only doing 50 mile an hour, that's four hours. And that's if they could sit at that uh, 50 mile an hour. Get rid of this person, the car to pull up behind Tarko J, like really? I don't know what they're doing, poor old Tarko J's trying to video uh, the convoy and they've just kind of pulled in there. Do they know what they're doing or? Oh, they're just taking footage of the, uh, probably their friends uh, standing there watching the convoy. I thought, oh, we'll get a video of them. You know, uh, I really, I really don't know what you're, uh, what you're on about, Greg. Yeah, uh, I hope you're not just going to be, uh, it's looking like you might be a troll, actually. Is she conventional or uh, cab over? Steve, that, uh, that green KW with the black drop deck, please, mate. Can't say I've seen one go, go through yet. I've seen the drop deck, but there's no sign on it. Yep. Targo's not going to let us get a see it if it hasn't gone past yet. He wants to catch back up again because this is the problem. There goes that purple one. Yeah. So Targo Joe's work must be working on that purple uh, uh, truck and trailer as he's uh, jumped back into the, the convoy to get back in front again. So if you can confirm to me, Greg, that you're not a troll. Because at the moment it's all looking like you're just a troll. And that's okay, case you'll be uh, removed from the, uh, the stream. Because you really, 
you've put no input into the uh, the channel at all. Uh, conventional, right out. Yeah. All right. All right. Because I go. I, I haven't seen it so far. I've been looking for looking for it. So that that uh, Greg Burns, he he's not even coming up as, as watching. So I think I'll just uh, ban him. I don't want uh, dramas Wait, going on. Have a look at that. Those two fireys with the. Fire department's on. That's great. That's great. Magnificent. Uh, that was mile marker 85. Mile marker 85. Steve, if that helps uh, with everything, I don't know where where that puts us. I just sort of want to know what sort of a town are we at? Where where are we? What town is is there? Are they uh, passing by? Can't wait to sniff some assholes with my friends. On the road again. On the road again. That was the first I knew. When they were waiting for calls to come through the scanner. <laughs> Punched them up here. Thank you guys for showing your support towards me. It's still uh, uh, two different things about where they're stopping. One is Cuba and one is Sullivan, Cuba. It's the 208 mile marker. And some of it will be another two, 20 miles past Cuba. Okay. And this is not the two day stop, is it? Uh, uh, Steve, this overnight one is this the two uh, the two day stop? I'm in Springfield. Where they got a rest day? Awesome. I'm in Springfield. Maybe they uh, they'll just go the 20 uh, 20 mile for a uh, for the locals to be able to see the uh, convoy rolling through. Uh, they're not going to be passing any more big towns at all today, just small ones. Yeah, but what was that town that they just went uh, went past? Where all those uh, people were at that overpass, mate? That's what I w I'd like to know. What that town was called? That super chat. Seen any more of uh, Greg Burns? No, the two day stop was in Indianapolis. It's about 500 miles away yet. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, wow. Well. well, I don't know then. We just. Unless they need the, uh, they can't fit them all in at one place at, uh, uh, at Cuba. Maybe they 
you're going to be spread out. I know they put all the trucks in at one place and uh, all the cars 20 miles past, maybe. So we're 73 miles away. Yeah, it might, might be something to do with accommodation and all that, Steve. Uh, I, I really don't know. Missouri, one hour and three minutes. Marshfield, which is nothing. Oh, bloody, yeah, it looks like a fair size. Uh, so we are in Springfield, Missouri. Uh, here. Uh, Springfield, Missouri, they are at the moment. Thank you for having me, though. Right, eh? Oh, that purple one's just peeled off there. Well, thank you so much. So, so uh, he might be going to get fuel or something, but we, we really don't know what's uh, happening. No, sure why they had such a big turnout because there's nothing really there. Well,. It was a bloody big turnout, uh, Steve. Like, I was very impressed, especially with the two big uh, uh, fire ladders there hanging that giant American flag. Yeah, they had a very big turnout. I was quite very impressed by that one. Brake check near the near the parking. I hope someone passes that down the line. Better they don't. Here comes that slinky effect. Oh, there's still cars on the side of the road here, like... Okay, alright, I'll be watching for, uh, for that one. Exit 180, righto. It's still going. Man, this is quite a well, well spread out town or something. I don't know. Seems bloody uh, pretty big compared to what we've been seeing uh, for the last couple of days. Welcome back, everybody. Those are joining back. We lost you guys for a little bit. Remember, if I do lose connection, check back like every five minutes. We will be back until the night's over. We are live streaming this whole event from morning to the night time when the sun rises to the sunset whenever it's over for the day after they have their meetings break away uh, exit uh, 84 it said All right, cookie. exit 84 I haven't got an atlas so I can't look it up I've got no chance of knowing where they are Uh, Taco Joe said Springfield, Catfish, barbecue. Uh, barbecue. but that was after they'd gone past that overpass. So uh, the overpass was uh, uh, exit 84. Right, I'm uh, going to make myself a coffee and. Uh, have a smoke and uh, I'll be right back with you uh, once I've done that. We are still in Missouri. We're going to spend the night in Missouri. Right now, we're going to have a stop, a rally in St. Roberts, Missouri.
He's pretty old Missouri, yeah. This is a size 10, yeah. Uh, Taco Joe's just said that they're uh, also having a stop uh, at Roberts. I think he said uh, uh, another one of those speeches and um, and all that. So Roberts, from Missouri, Roberts. East on the 44, Missouri. Okay. Be back once I've had me smoke. Exit 96. Look at this exit here. Okay, white three news. What city is that in? KY3 News.
Orange County. Oh, I forgot to grab my bag of coffee yesterday. So sorry. Uh, in Big Cabin, I was supposed to go grab coffee. I had a bag of coffee for me. Waving at them, Janet. <laughs> Thank you so much for that super chat. Now, once I get ahead of this convoy again, I'm gonna take off to this where the rally's supposed to be at, set up, and wait for the convoy to come in. ETA, there's 54 minutes. We will be there in 54 minutes. Entering the city of Marshfield. We are in Marshfield. Mile marker 100.4.
barbecue. Awesome. That's where I'm having dinner tonight at that barbecue joint. super chat and thank you thank you guys that are supporting me financially much much appreciated your support your donations are going to pay for the expenses of this whole trip which is not cheap trust me not cheap so thank you guys for supporting me through those donations so much for that PayPal. Where we're at now, we are in mile marker 105.2. 105.2. Saying goodbye by the sheriff's office here. The deputies out here. Thanks for that, mate. Yeah, no worries. I'll speak to you when you when you come back. If you're still listening, but yeah. We're stopping in Cuba. Cuba. Cubano, like Cuba. Cuba. No Sullivan. Back and enjoy the the ride along with Taco J from First Responders Media. I'd like to thank uh, First Responders and Media for allowing me to restream this feed for him. Get it out to all the world to to see. What I do know is they are having a uh, a break on this trip that they'll. Uh, Something for speeches and and that. Um, you guys never had Cuban food? It's good. One of my favorite favorite dishes from Cuban right. food is arroz. Arroz vieja, which means old clothes. 
think that was that uh, KW we were talking about before Steve he just went past. <laughs> and yeah, it was following a, a white uh, cab over, Bobtail. What's up, brother? Everything's still uh, running smoothly, which it is. Awesome, Don. Your cousins live out here. Uh, yes, Gary. Yes, we are. Beautiful mural on the back of that uh, RV. 45 more minutes and we're there. 45 more minutes. See your brother, Lori. Who's your brother? bit of fun over there on first responders media uh, chat some bloke spamming flip flop he was uh, flip flop or, or flip something he was there yesterday same sort of rubbish so he's yeah, just a troll here yeah. Another one out there just to, uh, uh... Was a toy song? Break part of the convoy, which just happened to me. Do not know. I honestly do not know. I didn't see him this morning. Yeah, I think he just joined in for yesterday. <coughs> that toy zone rig. <laughs> it did look pretty uh, neat, but... Flip Flopsky.
I don't know where DDC is. I'm saying about this slip of his block, but I'm not seeing his uh, messages. <laughs> I blocked him uh, yesterday, but the uh, new feeder, you got to block him every every time. So I'm not seeing his messages for some reason, I don't know why. Yes, the convoy has never stated that they're going into DC. I think there's another convoy in that's going to get ahead of it. Uh, I don't know what's happening there, uh, why I'm not seeing his, uh, his feeds. These uh, messages, it's probably good anyway. Would have blocked him anyway, once I'd seen him. I don't put up with trolls. I give him a chance. I have one on, uh, on this stream. But, uh, right now we are he wasn't one given one any one input, one uh, one uh, any questions. It's just posting the same uh, rubbish, so got rid of him pretty quick. I don't have him on the feed. Going eastbound on I-44, mile marker 115 right here. Do not know what city or town this is. Oh, let's see what we've got coming up in here. Oh, don't tell me... Uh, Master Arthur's uh, been denied jail, uh, been denied uh, parole, and he's been locked up. Can't give up, Mark. Arthur's still a political prisoner, so he's still in jail. God's truth. Believe what's happening there. Unreal. So sad. Got says next. See what he's. Uh... What he's uh... got happening on his site. For some reason I can't get the feed. Oh, there we go. Gonna play around with the settings sometimes. Drop them right down and then uh, go back in. Doesn't want to give it to me. Some reason. I can get it at 240, but past the car we left it behind. Wanna get ahead, get to this location with the red. Try and get it uh, up to 720. Oh, there we go. Got it now. Top off so, quick. Taking a bit of uh, doing to get it. Uh, can't sort of work out whereabouts he is in the. In the convoy. Candy factory so. up here. Rolls, Larch's gift shop, free chocolate sample. Free chocolate sample. Coming out of Michigan, going to DC uh, today. You're in Conway, Missouri. What's this map quest? Oh, excuse me. I don't know what this map map quest is? We get some gumballs for the factory. 
Visit Uranus <laughs> for Fudge Factory and General Store, Mini Golf Course, Outdoor Store, Sideshow Museum, and Playground. Everybody, hurry up and get over to Uranus. Go and uh, have a listen in to, to uh, Samps and see what uh, <coughs> uh, we got the other one up there. Yeah, we have. Sound on and well, let's see what uh, he's got to tell us. Snacks. A beautiful uh, truck and trailer. This uh, this bloke. Surely that's not Whistler Diesel that uh, uh, does the videos. Someone's just using his uh, name, maybe. Fake uh, news running around at the moment now. Watching the chat on the uh, Synax. It's quite funny actually. Somebody said, "Oh, why do you use your uh, your Jake break?" <laughs> Mm -hmm. Well, he uses the Jake brake for a reason, so he doesn't uh, uh, wear his uh, brake brake shoes out like it. This is obviously somebody that's never driven a truck uh, has come up with that uh, question. You know. Save your brakes for when you need them. 
why heat your brakes up for no uh, for Thank no you reason? Right. Thank you very much, Matt. You're right. Ten dollars. You're on and off the the throttle all the time. You imagine uh, the Texas <laughs> if they uh, weren't using their engine brakes, like yeah, some people. Well, I can't believe them. You know, the, the, these blokes are uh, professional drivers. They know what they're doing. You know, especially uh, whether it's, uh, if it's an owner, owner operator. You know, he, he wants to save his running cost as much as he can. Why would you be uh, want to replace your brake linings every uh, every so often? You try and uh, keep that to a minimum. Yeah, I don't know what the what the roads are like going through the hills and all that over there in America. Uh, here in Australia, our hills are pretty steep uh, in some spots, and you don't want brake fade, that's for sure. You know, I've had it. Uh, I tell you what, it's bloody scary, and nothing worse than uh, brake fade. You're sitting there and you. At the mercy. All you can do is steer that baby and just hope for the best. You make it to the bottom. You don't ever want to suffer from brake fade. It is real heart in the mouth stuff. And there's nothing you can do about it. And she's uh, she's off and running, mate. There's nothing uh, you can do. You just you're just a passenger, sitting there to steer the baby to the bottom, and hope that you can keep it shiny, shiny side up. Years ago, we used to have uh, uh, what were called runoff roads. Uh, and they were gravel. They went off into the the side of the uh, the mountain that you're coming down. Uh, so you started going back up uphill, and the gravel uh, pulled you up uh, up in there, and then you, of course had to be uh, dragged back out. Uh, but. Uh, Don't seem to have them anymore. I think uh, another cost-saving uh, measure by the government. They didn't want to have to uh, maintain them. You know, it was easier just to put a sign up up the top telling uh, the trucks to uh, to use uh, uh, low gear. Yeah, you know, that's all well and good, but sometimes that load behind you, and she's still. Uh, Yeah. Shut it down, boys. Okay, so. Hard break check. One twenty-two. Hard break check. Hard break check. Yeah, here you go. So. And they're passing that uh, message down the line a bit there. You know, and that's how it needs to be. That's how it should have been. Uh, all the time. You know, you got to keep passing that message down the line to make sure that everybody knows what's happening up ahead of them. Make a copy. Oh.
quite a good ride here with uh, Sanax. Uh, been able to listen into that CB radio to see what's actually uh, happening up uh, up in front. You know, it's what you wanna wanna be able to. Yeah, that's right. Robert's there. Rally the and have some speeches there at uh, Roberts. Someone will know what it is. Hey, Coach, you go there, folks. Be back. People been out wondering where we're going to stop for the night. Nope. Hold on. i got to do some live chats real quick, or some super chats real quick. Uh, Mario. Thomas Shipfield, already got a few. I think I'm honored with you. Yeah, already got you, Thomas. Thank you for the $100 again. Thank you. Johnny, John Antworth. John Antworth, uh, $20. Thank you. I just donated to on the, the people's uh, people's convoy.org so here's some for you too thank you much keep on trucking all right thank you very much john all right uh, just while i got you guys here on next subject if you want to donate money to the the cause to the, the convoy go to truck uh, uh, people's convoy.org people's convoy.org go to that website scroll down a little bit and you'll see a box that says donate here that's where you can donate to the, the convoy. If you give a super chat on my channel, I'll assume that's a tip to me, and I appreciate it. Thank you very much, okay? Thank you very much. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, next one is $100 for somebody. Thomas Sheffield. Oh, okay. okay. And, uh, okay, yeah, I'm caught up on my super chat, I think. If I have missed your super chat, I apologize, but I, I thank you. Uh, you know, I, I do it the best I can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So thank you very much. Uh, okay, you just heard. We're going to go up to, uh, I can't remember the name of the town, but we're going to come up to this town, uh, and uh, we're going to get off there, and the city has uh, blocked off all the streets. When we get there, they're going to block off the streets, and we're going to do a little small convoy or a little parade through the town, and uh, eventually go out to the it's a 208 truck stop. 208 truck stops are really large large truck stop to be able to accommodate us and everything. They had a really large parking lot. And, okay. Uh, uh, anyway, that's where we'll be tonight. It's 208 on Interstate 44. Okay? That's a dark truck stop. I think they call I'll, that uh, Cuba, Missouri. up on my map. Exit 28 is Cuba, Missouri. Cuba, Missouri. It's like Cuba, the country. C-U-B-A. Cuba, Missouri. Exit 208. Exit 208. So there you go. Uh, Steve, if you're uh, listening back in. Uh, Cuba. Exit 208. Um, hope that... Uh, Helps you uh, out a bit there, mate. What's uh. happening here? Why did that uh, go down there for? want that. Alright, we're coming into Lebanon, Missouri. We're at Lebanon, Missouri, coming into the 129 mile marker. Lebanon, Missouri. 
So what Joe's uh, gonna tell us now? I'll keep my eye on uh, Synax. Uh, see what he's doing. And uh, <laughs> roads like that are by, uh, by design. Help keep the drivers awake. <laughs> I think uh, Taco Joe's going to uh, get us some footage of the, the convoy, is he? No. People's convoy for freedom. Ah, thank you, truckers. Well done. That's great. That is great. Fantastic. That was good. That was good. He's obviously uh, trying to get to the front of the queue to where they're going to. Uh, uh, come through this town for a, uh, a slow roll. Uh, a Russell, or no, not Russell. Uh, uh, You're welcome. You enjoy the sign. Oh, I heard what they called it. Jesus. We've already been past Russell. Um, it was something else. They'll. Uh, Pulling in there, blocking off all the streets to allow the trucks to roll through it. Being invited in. Trying to stay up with as much information as I can, uh, I can give you. But sometimes it's not easy. I, I miss some of it at some points. Old brain doesn't sort of. Passing mile marker 141. Retain that information too well. Oh god, that drive me nuts driving on that. Nineteen minutes. Nineteen minutes. That's where they're for this. Uh, Parade's going to happen going down the, the street. I don't know how they're actually going to going to do it. They're smart. They'll pull all the cars and that out of it. Reorganise the uh, convoy. All the prime movers uh, up the front. You know. You know some of these. Uh, Car drivers want to be in the uh, in the footage, you know. Oh, look, there's me, there's me. You know, but which is all good and fine because it's a people's convoy. It's not a truckers' convoy. It, you know, it's just being uh, organised and led by the uh, by the truckers. So, you know. It'd just be good if the. Uh... Oh, here we go. Into a bad area again. Gonna buffer on us. We'll probably lose him again, so. If he does, we'll. Uh... I'll re uh, join his stream again and. Feed you that stream. I don't think um, yesterday it seemed all uh, all the streamers had the same problem at one spot. They just uh, they'd gone through a black spot. Oh, 
mobile coverage, so it's not. Oh, yeah, he's back again. Yeah, he's in and out, in and out. It's just got a. Uh, and it looks like he's going in between two uh, two ridges there, so that'll be the uh, problem. So it's just a black spot. Got real good signal in there. He, uh, he can get through this. Uh, yeah, people are saying about it uh, buffering on there on his chat, but uh, there's nothing uh, he can do about that. That's not his fault at all. It's just the uh, there's someone posted a dead zone of Missouri. Mm. It's about right. It's just not not uh, happening here. Look at that. Because of the uh, buffering, we lost uh, live. We're back live again now. Right? Fix the backup. Look how bad the signal is now. Look at that, that's a mobile uh, phone tower there. Well, it's a couple of them, but obviously uh, not the uh, tower that uh, Taco Joe uh, is with. Now, there's a few people on that bridge, so. They'll all be live streaming themselves, you know. And you just uh, eat up the bandwidth of the towers. Uh, you know, they're only capable of handling so much uh, data. And when everyone's uh, live streaming, it can be a bit of an issue. What we got flashing up here? Roadworks, is it? Cause and resign. Well, uh, maybe it, maybe that might have been a sign for the. Uh, and thank you so much for that cash app. Much appreciated. On the, the the convoy of their uh, their exit number or something, maybe. You remember, I'm only surmising. I'm seeing what you're seeing. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm I can only comment what I can see, and uh, I've got the same picture you've got, so. You know that that like a pixelation effect on it. It's just the the amount of data he, he can't push out the data that he wants to push out. Like he, he's on 1080p and this is what we've got. Yes, Kathy, thank you. So until he can get a uh, clear signal uh, on the towers, uh, we just got to uh, put up with it. So it's not my, it's not my feed. Well, not that I know of anyway. Yeah, uh, it's just what we've got. Uh, we could go back to uh, Snaps. He's back in the convoy, and he's got a uh, pretty clear stream. We'll have a look and see if there's uh, any other good streamers uh, out there that uh, I like to, to follow. Uh, is, uh, there is one that I, uh, I like, and that's uh, 1988 Watchman, but. Uh, I'm not seeing his uh, his feed uh, coming up. So whether he's not uh, streaming, uh, which would sort of surprise me a bit. Uh, he's been streaming uh, every day, so. Uh, 
I'm pretty sure I'm uh, uh, subscribed to his channel. not showing up for some reason uh, maybe he's uh, he, he's not uh, he's not streaming today Payne said yesterday that he uh, wasn't going to be streaming. But I'll sort of I'll, I'll keep looking. Uh, because you get multiple uh, feeds coming uh, uh, from him. We can do what I can find out, yeah, but it's uh, it's not looking real uh, real good at the moment. That's for sure. It's sad uh, because uh, I did like his feeds. Uh, one of the viewers that I have on here, uh, PJL. Uh, it's one of the mods on the channel, so... Until she comes on, I, uh, I'll i be in the dark as to why I'm not uh, getting his feed, so... Whether he's been blocked by... Uh, YouTube... Um, I just don't know. I'm only surmising what's going on because look, I know for a fact he was was covering it, uh, and I didn't know anything of him uh, not continuing on the coverage. I, I, I can't even find an old. Uh, clip of his of the convoy uh, so that's a bit of a problem trucker G's not uh, not showing up in me uh, list either uh, last stream I've uh, received from him was uh, a day ago so whether Fake book is uh, whether uh, YouTube is up to their their old tricks like they did in in Canada. We are almost there. I'd have to. Uh, seven minutes. Seven minutes to the location. Assume that's what's. Uh, Facebook. What's going on? Like the stream? And he's been taken like down. Facebook, you just got hit the shirt button and pick what groups you want to share to. Uh. Is the trip map somewhere? Yes, if, we, if you go over to our Facebook page, uh, the maps of the routes that they're taking is right there. Ooh, what happened here? Ouch. Traffic 
years and years. Yep. We don't want that. We got, oh, it's on its side. Traffic collision off exit 156. Uh, trucker down. He flipped. Prayers, prayers go out to him. Hopefully he is okay. The traders flip. I did not know where the vehicle's at. Uh, but uh, by rights, it should have uh, just broken the kingpin. It's the whole idea of that kingpin. She's supposed to snap and not take the uh, prime mover over with it. But yeah, <laughs> it doesn't always happen. Sometimes those kingpins don't snap like they're supposed to. Well, there you go. There's what. There's 1988. What's eight days ago? Let's see what he comes up with uh, when I go to his. 17 hours ago was his last. Last stream. And a funny feeling he might have uh, gone elsewhere. I don't think he's. Uh, uh, transmitting on. Uh, YouTube. Might have got strikes or something on it, I don't know. It's not there, just the back the box was there. Uh, until St. Roberts. I think we'll uh, go back to Sanax, I think, and uh, watch his feet uh, coming in. She's uh, Riding back along with Sanax. Fee we got coming in here. Yeah, I want that better than that, that's for sure. Much better. Uh, Alright. Dwayne, you're holding in stock. You're solid for me, man. You're solid for me. Don't know how back how far back through the through the convoy. Snacks is he? He was uh, fairly well placed up the up the front of the the convoy. And, uh, further up the road, you're going to find uh, you'll see that there's a uh, trailer on its side in the ditch. Uh, there's no prime mover there. It's just the the trailer. I'm hoping the king pin has snapped and uh, left the uh, prime mover upright to be able to move away. You're just going to have to. Yeah, he's going through this section there that uh, uh, first responders media went through that. Not real good uh, mobile coverage. I'm sort of watching uh, because uh, Taco Joe he lost a uh, bit of the signal uh, at one point. Really uh, buffeted and carried on. I can't really see. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, this is that spot. It's the exact same spot the Taco Joe uh, had dramas. That's Sorry about this. There's just nothing I can do about it. We'll shoot back to uh, to Taco Joe and see where uh, where he's up to.
and he's coming into where they're uh, going to be stopping for this rally. Uh oh, I should have bumped you over there. I don't see no gas stations over here. And he's chasing okay, fuel. No okay. We're from the next stop. We might have enough fuel. Yeah, you don't want to run a, uh, take that risk, mate. You got somewhere to get fuel? Get it. Don't be working on the. Oh, might make the next one. You think you need fuel? Put the fuel in. Who really cares about what Aero Express is doing? It's on Rumble. Whoopie do. Stop it, uh, Debbie here. They are stopping early. Uh, yeah. they're, uh, she's a bit of a problem, that Debbie Ann, too. I've uh, dealt with uh, her uh, uh, quite a bit on different uh, streams that I follow. She's one of the ones that spreads the rumours coming from Oreo. It's going to go shooting through on me, but I suppose I could pop that chat out, and it might be my best bet. No, I don't want that shot, that that one popped out. I want mine popped out. Uh, not, not the park yet, though. I don't know. That's all right. That does exactly what I want. Our next location. I can't read anything that's on that. So I think we could make your way out. So that's about out. the last of it. Close, I don't. Yeah, we can make it to the next stop. Uh, no. I'm gonna go find a gas station. They're here already. The organizers are here. We'll get some gas real quick and then we'll come back down here. That shit just went straight over there. Yeah. Well, the RV's parked up in here. Jesus, that can't be legal having that out the side. God. And then we're not going over. And then there'll be breaker one. Breaker, breaker, one, nine. The black bean is out of gas. Hey, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Get some fuel, mate. There's got to be a survey there somewhere. Surely. Why am I parking in the middle of the road? Uh, Still not got a uh, good signal from sending out to us. St. Roberts? It might have changed uh, the settings when he lost uh, signal. He might have realised it. We'll know when he uh, switches cameras. Below right here. I'm on target, Joe. What are you doing, mate? What are you doing? Speak to me, son. Alright, there's one up here to the left side. No, oh, okay, he's found the survey. Not stuck. Yeah. Yeah. Some fuel in that baby. Why didn't I fill up? <coughs> they had a full tank of gas this morning. Jeez. How many kilometers you done so far today, Taco Joe? What I want to know. Before we left, we've gone now. Up here. 
three sixteen and get it? That's the cheap. Percent mm. pump. Oh. I think they'd have better. Uh... Guys, you guys are on the wrong. Look at all these people here, and they're turning they're turning in back there by the Walmart. I guess they might be coming down here because that bus has been with them, not bus, the RV, all this time. Selling shirts. Flags. St. Robert Santa. And he pay up by Super 8 Motel or something like that. He said there. Uh, it's going that quick, I can't sort of keep up with it. $3.16, oh, let's say $3.17. That's cheap. That's cheap. Poor old uh, California, they're pushing around. Uh, uh, the five dollar mark now, I think. And the prices of fuel is just ridiculous. Those prices, Taco J needs to be pulling a trailer full of forty fours. Take his fuel back to uh, California with him. <laughs> he could sell out a bit of nice profit back over there. Completely lost the feed from Synax. It's uh, buffering. It was the same uh, spot that uh, lost Taco Joe's at. Bad area. Oh, I don't know why. Yeah, you know, like a town like this. Why, why the mobile signals would be the way they are. But as I said, you know, a lot of people are um, videoing and, and, and streaming on Facebook and all that. You know, uh, they're chewing up a lot of data on the towers, and the towers can only carry so much data. You know, they're, they're not they're not unlimited. You know, uh, there's, uh, what they've got to do is uh, uh, prioritise uh, the tower cells. Uh, where you sp uh, your, your first responders and all them, they get uh, priority over everyone. And, uh, you, you will lose connection before they will. They're the last ones to lose connection on a tower. And that's how it should be. We need those uh, first responders to be able to uh, get connections and communicate to what's going on. All right. 438 current down today. That's what I'm saying. I'm not complaining about gas prices over here. Although it's expensive for you, for everybody, but he's 18. But compared to what we're paying in California, it's crazy. Yeah, it's a lot cheaper. 
right now we just made it to St. Roberts, Missouri for the rally here. But everybody's down here. Uh, not here. Down there, the road. By the lows. Everybody's by the Walmart. Minimal people over here. <laughs> yeah, well, that'll up your fuel consumption too, Darko Joe. You'd be surprised at what a little bit of dirt on your car does for fuel consumption. You might notice it, but it does affect it. It'll keep your car nice and clean and shiny. The wind just uh, glides up over it. You know, a bit of dirt, it's another wind resistance. When you're driving as far as they're driving, it's a lot of wind resistance that adds up. <laughs> How many gallons does that golf cart hold? Where'd you turn your wipers on for there, Taco Joe? Pixelated, make sure that you're not you're not in auto settings for YouTube and it has not kicked you down to 144. we're live again Alicia remember guys if I if you lose me check back like every 10 15 minutes five minutes make sure I'll be coming back line
1080. You guys should be in 1080. You guys should be in 1080. So it's, I'm streaming 1080. Unless we do have a bad area, then we'll get pixelated and everything. But I'm showing full bars here at 5G. So. Video shopping, and I, I do apologize. I'm showing 5G. Might just might just be the area here. So. Yeah, if, if your connection would probably 720 would. But refresh, guys, refresh. Refresh, come back. And I'm showing 5G bar. 5G E, actually, right here. 5G E <coughs> here. So just refresh. Where were we yesterday? What was the stop? There's too many places now. Big cabin. Big cabin, yeah, I saw awesome. you yesterday. I saw you at the front. Uh, you, you've been driving with them too? Yeah, I met up with, um, my buddy's been here since California. I just met up with him in Oklahoma and flew out. You flew out from where? Uh, California as well, San Diego. San Diego, so you came from San Diego, hopped on your buddy's car and joined him here yeah, in Oklahoma. Yeah. He picked yeah. you up in Oklahoma? Yeah, he picked me up. Oh, wow. He flew out and picked me up, um, helping him film a documentary, so. Oh, what documentary? With who? Um, is that cam right here. Awesome. Get you in documentary of the whole event. Awesome. Awesome. Been with you guys since the start, too. Yeah. Awesome. I've been seeing you. Awesome. I've been seeing you on the side of the road. You got the drone, or, yeah. I have. I got a drone, but I haven't okay. gotten it up yet. Okay. I, I want to find a way to add it to the stream where I yeah. could get drone footage oh, as I, we're I live. Don't know how to do that. Maybe stream yard. Yeah. Stream yard do it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'll see you, my brother. All right, brother. Thank you. Nice meeting you. What's going on, bud? How you pretty, doing today? Pretty good. How about yourself? How's you going? Pretty good, how are you guys? The stage is back there for the rally. So a lot less people on this side than what there is on that side. I think what threw everybody off is that there's somebody selling flags and t-shirts on the Walmart parking lot. 
So I'm assuming everybody thinks that's the spot. But there's a lot more people on the other side. The organizers are here on this side. I talked to him and told him, hey, there's a lot of people on that side. He goes, I don't know why. Jackie, thank you so much for that paper. I've been watching every day. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So this is day six, guys. Day six of the convoy. Currently, we are in St. Roberts, Missouri. Uh, there will be a little rally here. They're setting up the stage over there. The organizers are here. Have blocked this street here. Can you get me a flag? What kind of flag do you want, uh, Rock Clark? something I get the CD chatter going
Take it to bake them. Two days. Two days to bake the uh, cookies. Yeah, yeah. 150 yeah. cookies. Well, yeah. oh, thank you. So close. I, I got two of them. This is so cool. This is amazing. This turned out okay. It's awesome. I'm going to take it to drive here today. Uh, about two hours. Two hours. He drove in two hours. Yeah, I, so far we're the first one. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for the cookies. You're then. welcome. Bye. Bye. So we got bikers now. Oh, you going to the bikers too? Me <laughs> too. I've been with them since Adelanto. I'm live streaming. My channel, first to meet, first to the media. I'm going with them all the way to DC. Awesome. Take it real far left there. Coming in here to park. Hey, uh, really? You gotta come. Yeah, come on. Go left. That was a drive. Good, good.
Bodie Sands. Oh, that's Lowe's. Hey, nice to meet you. Can I get one of those stickers? Yeah. There you go. There you go. I gotta go. I go ask the one back back Damn. I'm going to ask for that whole shit about jump air. Oh wow. Think about the police escort you guys got. Oh, it was great. It was yeah. great. Yeah, it was great. They did a super job. Oklahoma and Missouri both. Yeah. Five units yeah. were escorting. Yeah. Support you guys been getting on the way out here. Every bridge alongside the roadway where it goes out, back like the road, road, people will pull over. Businesses that have, uh, you know, businesses that are in the eyesight of the freeway, they all be standing out of their businesses. Of course, we get police, as you say, and all down the road are waving. They say there's food or restaurants. Cool a there. protest where the truck out of the truck and take a left. Baton, so that's kind of nice. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Okay.
That's a new one. I hadn't seen that one. And Blue KW. Oh, no, I might have seen that one yesterday, did I? No, no, no. I can't recall seeing it. So everybody did, and then why it's your Dispose of it, then I'll keep it. No, no, no. There's, right. there's that. Okay. It's in good shape. Okay. Well, then, then yeah, you can keep it. It, it must have fallen out somebody's car. Or yes. Uh, but no, the, the tattered flag. They all get picked up and then they're donated. Now that one's still in good shape, and okay. I'll fold it up. It's a guy. That'd be 
Bruce that. Seals, that's the All name right. of the story. Some of you mentioned it was his wife who passed away. No, it's his grandma who passed away. Grandma. And he said that after he got the truck, thousand dollars was raised to ticket sales, and it was all donated to cancer research. Um, stuff around here at the moment. I'll have to look into it later. I'll work it out. Going. I don't know what's happening with this with the bloody audio. As soon as I uh, mute on the headset, I lose me uh, me audio. It won't. Uh, okay, they just released the. Seems to disable it for some reason. Let's see what happens. Back there in the convoy. They stopped all the four. I don't know what the story the is with this software. Truck is caught. Why it's doing that to me for? How long have you guys been waiting out here? Uh, all day. All day. All day. Awesome. Could be anywhere else. Don't we stop in here? Thank you. No. I'm looking that way, yes. Okay, Paul, see if you can slide next to Ryan. Too many of this. Okay. So look what I have now. Awesome, awesome, awesome. What did you get, Taco? The Constitution of the United States. Okay. reply to that no I mean nobody here judges anybody on it again it's their skills behind the wheel that that's how you're judged out here in, in this industry I I don't oh, I almost said a bad word but I don't care if you're black white brown male female if, if you like if you're a girl who likes girls or a guy who like guys, likes guys, that's not how you're judged. You're judged on your the skills that you possess behind the wheel. That's how this industry treats people. So, yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> Yo, it's you. Yeah, uh, it me, you know? <laughs> yeah, I wanted to see what that was all about. Then. Sorry, I'm going to have to uh, stop this stream and restart it, but I don't want to miss out on what's uh, going on at this, uh, this rally.
this little soiree has started. Thank you, Bill of Missouri, for coming out today. Give yourself to our friends. So we're going to do it right. We're going to start with a singing trucker by the name of Jeremy. And we harmonize with him, and, and uh, her name is Adrian. And they're going to start right now with, I think, the national anthem, if I'm not mistaken. Give them a round of applause, guys. for leading
make sure the truck beds of new trucks that are joining us have been inspected. We are 100% message and to restoring freedom and accountability in this country and to getting these guys and girls safely across this country so they can tell their message at the other end of the line. And that's what we've been doing. And I gotta say, y'all, 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 Y'all have been amazing. Every single highway, every single overpass, without exception, with zero exceptions, every overpass, even in the middle of Nowhereville, Arizona, New Mexico, two hours from the nearest town on either side, every overpass has been filled with all of you flying flags. This is trucker Brian Brosny. He is one of the guys spearheading it. Give him a round of applause, guys. This is the part of the whole thing that, you know, isn't me. <laughs> but we'll try. Okay. First, first off, back in the driver's seat out. again. The love and support is unreal. And I got to just, like, please give yourself for coming out and supporting such a great There's a team of 30 truckers. Oh, you're back. <laughs> Sorry, you mate. Of, uh, a Nick out for a yeah, smoke and a coffee. Drivers and or oh, I don't know. They're in uh, St. Uh, St. Roberts. There's help uh, from this is just a rally. Taco Joe interviewed uh, going on the, uh, the driver so of the, the pink truck and, and told the story I, of, uh, right about I'm the pink truck. He uh, <laughs> was handed a sticker by uh, Sinex. Uh, told Joe to. Of course, working yeah. every single day tirelessly so we can get a look inside the cab out and all night three hours of sleep and doing the speeches at together. the moment thank you thank you thank you Round yeah of the, the audio won't be real good because for some reason your headset uh uh it's not uh, I get questions, uh you know, why playing audio you for some reason what, i don't know why the reason for doing this? i need to what, uh, Maybe reboot and, the, and there's the easy answers, right? The uh, um, system I'm, I'm I tried to uh, go through said freedom. Yeah. Didn't do it. Right? You got that. All right, that's the easy answer. That's the, that's, that's usually the go to for most people. But the truth is, I'm doing that for my girls. But Sorry about that. Uh, doing for, the audio. for my family. Yeah. I'm doing can, that uh, for future generations. Change it over like again. Yeah. I'm doing this for all of you. We it didn't work before, we so I'm, I'm not thinking it's going to work for again now. We all have our own reasons. 
Oh, we're doing it. As soon as I change it over to the headset, it uh, stops the audio side of again. I don't know, the right side don't know why it does it. Are, it's something to do than, with uh, the, the headset when I put it on the uh, uh, on the mute. It doesn't seem to uh, unmute for some reason. I'm not sure which button it is that actually unmuted it on the, the headset. It should be as soon as I bring the uh, the mic back down, it should uh, not only is uh, this unmute. Something's not right. Multiple violations of our uh, constitutional rights. If we lose uh, the signal from Joe, scale, I'll uh, reboot the software again. Violations of our start again. It'll take me a couple of minutes. Oh, not really a couple of minutes. Of the world. Take me about that 30 seconds to get it all up and going again. But are it's a bit of a, your human bit of a drama. Rights. I could probably do it now. Yeah, St. Roberts. Yeah. Yeah. They're just having a, uh, a rally. The, the town's asked them in there. The old rally as they're going through, so they're doing the right things. I think, uh, Taco Joe, I think I heard it was uh, uh, Exit 108 uh, at Cuba where they're uh, camping up for the I'm night. Steve. This is not how I was raised. Uh, this is not what I believed in in school and what I was taught in American government. I was not taught. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't catch uh, what exit uh, they took, mate. Uh, I, was I was sort of going back between uh, uh, Taco Joe and uh, Sinak's uh, feed because I was told to believe uh, in got the bad system. signal uh, reception where they are. I do believe in uh, the system. I'm not against it, not whatsoever. And this I is the, the, the feed that we're getting. Red, white, uh, blue, and I, I think everybody uh, is uh, given the same sort of signal. Uh, so I completely lost the next there. So it's time to restore uh, I'll have a look at uh, his feed again now and see what what he's giving. Uh, see if he's got a clearer. Oh yeah, he's got a clearer signal, so we might switch over to over to him and uh, uh, get his feed uh, coming in. I'll have to reboot it. Um, go back here. Uh, Mark, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? There he is. This is a uh, pretty. Uh, Good signal coming in. Uh, it's just the uh, tower, I'd say. Yeah, still pretty much the same. It's 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 in and out. We're not. We're just Americans. It's just the towers We're just overloaded. Americans. We're the people, and we just want our constitutional rights restored. We want our freedoms. We want to make the decision for ourselves. Listen. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a scientist. I can probably read I'm not a professor. I'm not a lawyer. I'm not any of those things. And I never will be any of those things. But I'm, get into him with complete I'm a human. Yeah, he might have a uh, signal. And I believe what I believe, maybe. and I'm entitled to believe that. We're, they're banned here because in Australia. Because I'm an American as well. Boosters. I have that right to. I, I don't I can't know. Tell you uh, personally, I can't. Or There's he, a bunch he, of out there that will say it is. He They'll say the vaccine's the good. They'll say the vaccine's service. bad. There's a ton of people both sides that uh, say emergency it. service. Listen, uh, I'm an anti-vaxer. We're not anti-vaxers. Mobile anti phone users uh, at least not get priority on uh, on the towers. Freedom, pro freedom, uh, which is fair I enough. I can't you tell you what to do, and I never will. But you deserve on the, the choice. I deserve the freedom yeah, entitled to me the, the... by what so many brave men and women have fought and died for uh, to it protect. Might be, uh, uh, the mobile service uh, that Taco Joe's using, you know, they mightn't have real good reception out there, or they might be to all the law sharing towers with other military personnel, service trash men, providers, teachers, so healthcare workers. He doesn't get priority to on all the, the people tower. around the world, to every American walking this earth. I love you, and we're doing this for you. Yeah, good on you, mate. Good on you, mate. Well said. To the truck drivers around the world, 
every truck driver around the world, every truck driver in this country, the United States truck drivers that are here today have your back. When the truck drivers need you though in the future, please have our back because we are going to need you soon. Yeah. Yeah. For the truck drivers and Brian Bros, you guys. Woo! You're doing a good job. Said, All truck drivers. Supply chain. Now, people don't realize without they truck, the if the truck stops, the country stops. There's no food. There's nothing on the shelves in the stores. Everything has to travel at some point by truck. Every time we walk into a Lowe's or a Walmart, and we can pick up anything from a from a pencil to a can of water, we should be taking thanking the truckers. Because without these truckers, those shelves would be bare, and we would be another third world banana republic, the likes of which I bust brothels in. And let me tell you something: you don't want to live here. There is a reason you there. There's a reason you live here. And that reason is because this thing looks like a first world country. It walks like a first world country. It talks oh, like a first world okay, country. Joe, uh, and that is because they've been streaming for a long time, Steve. He, uh, God bless him. He uh, pretty much knows what uh, he's doing with his setup. So there's no, no question with that. Uh, he runs uh, pretty good equipment. Uh, love the bald eagle on that. That's lovely. Oh, and the fallen. Magnificent. He is your former governor. Fantastic. And right now he is running for U.S. Senate. Yeah. I just want to love him already. I think you should elect him. Welcome to the stage. That is fantastic, that boy. How's everybody doing? Yeah. Let him hear you. You know what scares tyrants? You do. You know what scares the mainstream media with all their lies? We do. We do. And we are here. And let everybody know. Uh, I'm, I'm very we are here I, I, to I, uh, take our country back. People have a, uh, a freedom of uh, speech, Steve. Yeah. When I took the oath oh, I don't to care. serve as a Navy SEAL, yeah, I took I'm an oath. I'm not going to take offense to anything. I took an oath. We got coverage now from folks all over the country watching right now what's happening here. Right now what's happening here. Yeah, when I took yeah, an I oath know, I know, I know, to serve as a Navy SEAL, I took Mate. an oath to protect our Constitution At least they have against against all enemies, foreign and domestic. and domestic. And the fact is, the fact is, I'll tell you this, when yes. I first took that oath, I it's joined just, in 2001. People need I had to the honor of serving that, in Afghanistan, you know, in Iraq, in Southeast Asia, in the Horn of Africa. You're welcome. I served alongside some tremendous veterans, many of whom are right here today. Hoo ya! <laughs> yes. And I'll tell you this, though. When I took that oath, I thought, well, maybe that domestic part, maybe that's something back <laughs> nah, from our nah, founding fathers. I thought maybe our nah. enemies are just... Al Qaeda, but we've all seen now. We've all seen. Slowly. Everybody has all seen like, that now. The people who are threatening the, uh, our country, the, uh, the people who are threatening the our freedom, the, right by an inch the people who are spreading day, lies about all yeah, of us are until right the following gets home, ripped off. And guess what? And then you we put the news around his neck and hang well, and we're going to take our country back. <laughs> yeah, I know. And here's know. what we know. But here's what we know. The, the, the problem we've got is mainstream Courage media is contagious. Uh, <laughs> and not. Uh, and what's happening now across covering the state this of the way it should be being covered. Country, yeah, it's people like these live streamers like Darko Joe and, and, and the like. saying, you're not that are bringing it to the world to, for people I'm to see. Law on my, you know, on my there's been no media. violence or anything so far. You're not going to yeah. force my children I still to take seen an experimental a, a racist, vaccine. Uh, flag, so. You're not yeah. going to shut my voice down. And what's happened? As you look around here today and as people around the country look at you right now, they're saying, you know what? We can all stand up. We can all stand up. Because what is the left? What is the left? It's a group of tyrants 
and liars and bullies. A group of tyrants and liars and bullies. I'll tell you, I was, I, I was a boxer. And one of the things that you always knew about bullies was the way that you dealt with them was that you walked straight up to them and you hit them right in the face. And that's how they collapsed, okay? And for too long, the left said, no, stay in your houses. For too long, the left said, oh, we've got this. You gotta, you gotta listen to our lies. For too long, the left said, we're gonna shut down your schools and we're gonna take your jobs. And right now, what you're seeing with our truckers from across the country is that this is a right cross headed straight at the chin of the tyrants. We will not be stopped. We will not be silenced. I'll tell you this, I, I just talked to Steve Bannon, I'm going on his War Room show this afternoon. And he said, he said he's gonna let everyone around the country and around the world know what is happening in Missouri today. And we're gonna let them know they think that, oh, well, these guys, they might show up today in Missouri and then they'll show up, you know, tomorrow somewhere else, but maybe they're gonna go away. No. No. Yeah, but every that's step is a step, mate. Because we know what's you at know. stake, and this is what's at that's stake, all. folks. That's all we, we can do. We face two choices. You know. The One choice people. is to surrender you know, to leftist and cruelty it. and tyranny. You know. Or the other choice is to revive our republic with freedom and courage and faith. And that's what we're going to do. God bless you. God bless you guys. Keep fighting. Keep fighting. Yeah. Yeah. Right. There, was no, there was nothing. Yeah, there was all hugs and, and love in, uh, in Canada. And that's all I'd, I'd like to 60 today. seconds or less from Adrian Narek. She has a couple of words. And then we are going to close this out with Amazing Grace, <coughs> harmonized by two of our truckers who have more than one skill set, as I'm sure you've divined by now. Uh, for all of you who want to follow our great journey across this country, the only official website is thepeoplesconvoy.org. Again, that's thepeoplesconvoy.org. You can book our routes. You can support the truckers with their fuel costs by making a donation. Thepeoplesconvoy.org. And uh, after here, we're headed up the street. We're going to be up in Cuba for the evening. You Feel free to join us up there. All right, she's going to say a couple words here, and then we're going to get those singers up. All right, quick, quick, everybody wave at your presiding commissioner, Gene Newkirk. He was going to speak. I took his spot. Quickly, Bill Hardwick is our state representative. I was on the phone with him this morning. Sorry, somebody else won't stop. House Bill 1686 is now in Senate committee that would prohibit an employer from mandating a vaccine. Talk to your senators. This is good. Encourage you to join in. Thanks for coming out today, guys. Appreciate it. Freedom. Freedom. Hey, St. Roberts, aka Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri. 1992. What a great opportunity to be able to sing the national anthem here. I sang the national anthem for my graduating class at Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri, right here in 1992. What an honor. Thank you guys so much. For <laughs> yeah, I thought exactly the same. Uh... Uh, that speech, Steve, uh, you know, somehow you got to choose your words right. Yeah. So hopefully people uh, don't uh, construe it as uh, uh, advocating our violence. It's hard to, hard to know, but yeah, not real sure. It could have been uh, construed that way, believe me. 
Because I sort of thought the same, I'm thinking, oh, mate. Probably not quite the right words to have used. I, I know what his point was and what he was trying to say. But you only need some of these... Uh, 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 agitators uh, to take the matter uh, further. And say, oh yeah, but we were, we were uh, told to, to punch him on the nose. We'd love to have you. Thank you. Right? Hey, all y'all truckers! There's a lunch over back there, so go get some crud. There's some axe. They said it better than I could, huh? <laughs> they said it better than I could. How you doing, guys? You're not a damn truck driver. <laughs> I ain't no stinky truck driver. I'm a pretty relocation specialist. Oh, I heard lunch. <laughs> <laughs> I heard lunch. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, I think they said it better than I could. Mm -hmm. Better speech than I am. Here's this uh, truck. I'm not sure this I just love this thing. It's actually on the map. It's a W900. Oh, uh, okay. It's got the uh, Seminole paint job. It's got black and, black and silver. And, uh, stainless steel reaper. 53 foot spread. This is one I was at what, last night. You couldn't see it because it was dark. But look at this. Isn't that? I've Hello. seen you on, on YouTube. Oh, very That's good. That's a straight so, uh, on it. I've been keeping track of you. You've been following? Yeah. So I said, I hey, know. man, there he is. I'm out of stickers. i got to run back to the truck. He's running out of stickers. Oh, okay. So, uh, I'll just show everybody this beautiful truck. Oh, is that your truck? No, no. Oh, hi, Tom. This thing is nice, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It is nice. And, uh, it's a reefer truck, I guess. Yeah, a reefer truck. That's a refrigerated truck, not yeah. the other kind of reefer. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> uh, oh, it is. It's, it's yeah, it wasn't I love much, American uh, trucks. Uh, on the mainstream media. I drove for Swift for a while. And media. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's all I could find, uh, Steve. I think one went for about 30 seconds, and most of that time was the... Uh, uh, the host uh, talking and uh, showing the footage, and the footage they showed was, you know, it was only one or two trucks uh, rolling around. They didn't show the uh, overpasses, they didn't show uh, the trucks when they were all uh, uh, condensed up. You know, they, 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 they you know, push their agenda. Yeah. Uh, they build back better. That's all part of the uh, world uh, uh, economic forum. That's what they're trying to push. That build back better. And our government here in Australia has been doing the same thing. I'll tell you something, go and uh, search up, uh, Steve. We've got problems here in Australia, mate, uh, up in New South Wales and Queensland. We've got major floods, mate. Been a few lives lost. Uh, yeah, so. Same thing. They can't even get live feeds coming in about that. You know, I can get his uh, news clips on it. I could have thought people would have been live streaming it, but you know, you know, record breaking floods. And, and houses, all you can see is the, uh, is the roof sitting out of the water. You're wasting film. Anyway, but uh, yeah, I. Uh, uh, you've been following a lot of stuff. Oh yeah, and, 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 I, and I'm glad that uh, uh, 
we're doing the same thing as Canada, and we try not to make the mistakes that they made. Yeah, he mentioned that. Uh, he said that it was a bit dark and so you couldn't really see the see the truck. Thank you, sir, and, and thank you for uh, uh, taking the, the lead in the charge. Yeah, so you got your fire lead. team behind I'm, I'm the 14th truck. They're the lead truck is up number one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Right. Care. I'm going to go check check on my truck, make sure everything's okay, and I'll be back up here. Thank you. A little muddy right over here. They must have had some snow soaked into the ground and made it all muddy. Yep, here's some snow in the ditch right here. Oh, mercy. Yeah, that was a good little rally. I mean, you know, uh, for Brian says he can't speak very well. That was pretty good from what I can tell. You know, it seems like he's a, he's got it. He's been practicing maybe, you know, so. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna go back here and just double check on my truck and turn over this. I didn't lock anything up, so. Go back here and look at things, make sure it's okay. Give me a drink, get parched. Maybe I'll read some of your comments when I get back here. I don't know how long we're going to be here. I'm not sure how. Oh, I've, got, I've left my lights on. Whew. Oh. I think I came back here to check that out. We're driving down the road where we got our lights on to show that we're in the convoy, you know? <coughs> and, uh, <laughs> left them on. Oh. All right. Let's see here. Get me a bottle of water. I'm going to start reading some comments here. Wow, 2525 on the uh, the viewers. 2528. Can we go 2530? Come on, 43. All right, 2543 jumped up there again. So, all right. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, still going let's up. Let's see. Let me try, try to read some uh, comments here. <laughs> Jim Gentry, is, I'll turn you around so you don't have to look at my ugly mug. You can see what's going on out there. Uh, still in state, state, St. Roberts right now. Yeah. Uh, lights on sleeper too. Yeah, I turned all, all of them off. Running all the sleeper, all the lights when it cruise down the highway. Just let people know that we're in the convoy. I mean, you got flags and everything. Yeah, you got a sink in there uh, and all. And everything, so it's uh, pretty obvious. Ah, straight. Um, I had 4,000 before. Yeah, I got EMP'd out there on the highway. <laughs> uh, we joke around, we call it EMP'd, but now basically you just lose a cell phone signal as you're traveling. Uh, it's very common uh, for people who don't travel a lot. Uh, Kim, thank you. Dollar ninety-nine. thank you much. I didn't catch it all. Yeah, well, it's still okay, raining. Thank you, uh, Steve, appreciate uh, it. Thank you very much. Uh, think up on the. Uh, uh, thank you, Kim. Thank you, Dwayne. Thank you, Dwayne, Sunshine for catching it. Dwayne, the, I, I, I'm, I'm so glad I called you. Harvey uh, Bay, you, you, you've been such a good help. You've had so over a meter, meter of you, rain. As you say, uh, you, which watch is, my back. Uh, you're my battle buddy. A meter of rain. Is, uh, Dwayne, if you don't know, Dwayne was in the military. Uh, he was an M1 mechanic, and I was an M1 crew member. Three, Didn't know him before this YouTube thing. He was in it a different time nine. than I was. Uh, but yeah, three foot he, nine, uh, I think. He, from day one, we he, uh, just off the top of my head. The uh, channel, uh, he started calling me his battle buddy. Uh, I'm like, who's this Dwayne guy? Maybe it's, uh, <laughs> so, very, uh, thank you very much. Yeah, it's three foot nine, somewhere around there. Okay, uh, so where are so they? Yeah, they've had a lot of rain up back there, street, back here behind the Lowe's in Walmart area. Uh, in St. Warning Roberts, coming Missouri. Out this morning for, uh, St. Tasmania. Roberts, Missouri is uh, about the 159, 160. Uh, expecting floods today as well. Uh, so I don't know if they can put close. I don't know what's happening here in Victoria. There hasn't been anything to the city. No, that doesn't We do haven't it. had any rain. That it's doesn't do it. tracking down the south. It started in yeah. Queensland and uh, it's been coming yeah, down. Yeah, I don't the, think there's, the there's not closed caps on the pretty much gone there. Yeah. Pretty much wiped wiped out the it macadamia. Just my pants in a good way. Uh, nuts. <laughs> you know, one dairy farmer, he's lost all his cattle. Oh, uh, that's like a personal problem, son. No. <laughs> all right. Um, don't forget the Hobo Tech and Tipsy have been here. Hobo 
Hobo here, Colonel. Okay, thank you, Hobo. I didn't know you were on here. Uh, thank you guys for helping me moderate. And uh, it, it'd be awful hard for me to do this by myself. All right, some li uh, some super chats. Lisa Marie, $20. No, thank you, you very eat. much. Uh, HBR at Crossroads, thank you. And all to all the truckers, God oh, bless you. Thank spray. you. $5. Thank you very much. Oops. Lost the uh, lost the signal. All right, we're coming back again. Okay, got, I'm back. All right, thank you. Um, thought I lost you there for a second. I thought I hit the wrong button. So Ooh, that was have, close. One. Uh, let's see. Uh, that's HBR Crossroads. Five dollars. Thank you much, Sherry. Oh, again, Sherry. Another thank you. Five dollars. Love the pl Prague, Oklahoma. Uh, love from Prague, Oklahoma. And your truck is like a studio apartment inside. It's huge. <laughs> yeah, I, I really enjoy it. I, now, all those years I had to sleep in those little... Uh-oh. Video not showing. It's black. Nah, it's black, man. I don't know why it's black. I'm, I'm seeing it. Uh, what's happened? Can't see. Zoom out. Okay, there's zoomed out. All right. Uh, uh. Try flipping the camera. Okay, there's cameras back on me. Can you see me? Nah, nah. Something's happened to me. Why his, does it uh, do this? Why does it do this? He's fine. Black here too. Black screen. Black screen. Refresh. I can't refresh. There's no way to do that. <laughs> Why they do it? <laughs> uh, just see on your live. Yeah. There, I don't. There is no uh, uh, clo uh, closed caption on this kind of stuff. Uh, everything says black. Man, I don't know what I did. I, I can't. Uh, I just knocked There's something. No, Switch no, the camera off, I'd say, accidentally. And hasn't realized it. Come on, get off of there. All right. To, you might have to shut down Switch and restart. And all that. There's the camera. Okay. Um, say. Must be a glitch in the system, folks. I, I, if, can you hear me? And if we can hear you, we just can't black, see you. screen's black, but I want to see, can you actually hear me? Oh, yes, yeah. can you hear me? Lens, yeah, they took, took off the lens cap. Ha, 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 funny. <laughs> <laughs> Sound, but no video. Okay, I'm going to have to reboot this, people. I'll do it yeah. as quick as I can. And yeah, right back. Um, yeah. uh, sorry about it. I don't I know what happened he, uh, there. I, I thought he had the to. system somehow. Um, yeah. Hope you all come back. I'm going to... Turn yeah. this off. I'm gonna right. Turn the phone completely right. off. And, and we're going to have to uh, reboot uh, it leave, and come up with a new video, feed. okay? And we'll uh, come back to him when he's uh, rebooted. I'll put that up there, ready to to reboot uh, for when he comes on. So we'll switch back over to, to Taco Joe. We'll see what Taco's got for us. Yeah, looks like we might lose him too. Uh, looks like he's just uh, buffering. We've got major problems going on here. Yeah. Not enough towers are in there, yeah. It's, it's the towers are overloaded. That's what's gone wrong. I just have to... Uh, while they're uh, doing that, Steve, I might... Uh, Reboot mine and get my audio back to where it should be. All right, I'll be back shortly. Just put a note there saying I'm rebooting. Grateful for everyone that's hanging out with me.